All right, here we go. We're going to dive back into this thing. I've decided that I'm going to tell a couple of stories about Vikings this time. Ooh, um, so first okay. of all, uh, the word Viking, uh, remember what I said, think carefully about what you want. This is what you get. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to kill them all, oh. and then you. That's what I'm going to do. Just go straight into fighting uh, me. Why right. wouldn't I have Ivor in this group? Uh, am I a crazy person? Uh, I will only do one of the brothers, and I will do the brother that is better. The one with the sc I'm actually going to take a let out of it. And I'll oh, put both go. of them in. How about that? Yeah. I, don't, I don't really like the archers. I don't. I don't think they're very uh, good. I mean, I I personally like the archers, but I let I feel is very she's too weak. It she's she's very weak, but like, so her ability is single handedly the only thing that gives her any kind of use. The problem with her ability is that uh, it's it requires very specific scenarios that are very hard to set up. Um, so generally, it's she's not worth it in yeah. my opinion. Whereas Oddleaf. Her ability is always awesome. Yes. It's very easy to burn through your willpower, but, it's but awesome. her ability is awesome. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go ahead and break that guy. Nice. Um, so anyway, Vikings. Um, the word Viking doesn't actually refer to a group of people. It refers to an activity, and the activity really? is Viking. Yes, when you went out Viking, it was on one of those trading and raiding expeditions that the Vikings would do, oh, uh, where you take a ship and you load it full of stuff and you pick up more stuff and then you park your ship somewhere and either take more stuff or sell stuff. Huh. Um, so Viking was the... A, a Viking is a person who goes out Viking. Um... The Vikings were rumored to have a, uh, a device that allowed them to, uh, like, supernaturally sail the seas in bad weather, <laughs> um, which is partially true. Um, they had well, access they had really to... really good boats, right? It's not just really good boats. They actually had a sunstone. Uh, they, would, they had a, uh, a piece of a particular type of quartz that when you hold it up to a cloudy sky where you can't tell where the sun is, it focuses the sunlight so when you shine it around and look through it, you can see, like, where the sun is because you... It focuses the light that's coming in. Um, so they could know and thereby navigate by the sun when no one else could. And to, uh, huh. to like, a layperson, uh, a guy standing in the center of a ship holding a stone to the sky and then going, we must go that magical. way. That looks like fucking magic, right? <laughs> uh, the Vikings also had better swords than... Uh, like ancient Japanese smiths or like any of those group of people that typically have a reputation for having really, really good swords. Um, the Vikings had better ones. Well, the Japanese had, had good smithing because their metal shitty was iron. shitty. Yeah. But yeah, the Vikings had good smithing and good iron. Um, and as a result, the, some of the oldest uh, still extant examples of, of swords that we have come from uh, Viking smiths ah. uh, and are still, in fact, uh, acid etched and stamped with their, their makers' names, and we can still read wow. them. And the reason we can still read them is because the Viking language, uh, the ancient Icelandic that they spoke, <laughs> is still spoken, and their, lang their alphabet is still used by speakers of Icelandic. Um, so it's not even that. No, it's not even translate. a dead language. No, it's, it's a still living <laughs> language. Um, Viking culture only existed in the form that we would think of as Vikings for about the 200 years prior to them being introduced to Christianity. Uh. After that, uh, all of Viking culture is, is basically just them being traitors and having a fierce reputation. <laughs> it's amazing what 200 years of rape and pillage will do to your, uh, your image as a culture. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're exceptionally good at navigating the seas, it only kind of makes sense that the next best route is to go into trading. Exactly. Um, well, the best route is to go into trading. It's just that they didn't have anything to trade initially until they stole a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> that they could trade to other people. 200 years of stealing, and then, you know, now we can trade it all back. Exactly, and now we have culture. Um, <laughs> okay, I am going to go somewhere where I can take somebody out who is not... Oh, wow, he has one health left. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing <laughs> so... So superb. Uh, luckily, mark him. Oh, I can't mark him because yeah, this ability be sucks. Uh, I don't really like that ability for that very reason. Yeah, um, I feel like if, if that ability was ranged, it actually yeah. would be far more useful. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like it's very good. No, I, I agree. It's, it's sort of a disappointing ability. I guess what's... Hekon gets an ability at some point, right? He has he, an ability. What is his ability? Everyone has an ability. Is, uh, does he his... just do, like, super armor damage? Uh, 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 no, his is the Sunder Armor one, the one where he hits someone and then knocks them through a bunch of people, oh. and then they, it deals one armor damage plus one for every space that they move through after he hits them. See, that that ability, I think, is a lot more useful it's, than... Yeah, but prey. the fucked up thing is, it's not as useful as just hitting a guy with your armor break. 
That's, yeah, that's the thing. Like, maybe in the beginning before you upgrade your armor. Yeah. Or your armor break ability. But as soon as you... What the hell? Why am I dealing zero damage? Did this guy use shield wall? Maybe. All right, whatever. Oh, yeah, he must have. That's kind of cool. Oh, Ivor's down. Oh, well. Um, all right, so he huh. used the shield block ability, which means... All right, and Rook's down. Uh, I'll just go ahead and do this. I could be yeah. using their abilities, and I probably should be, actually. But they need to be bringing people down. Yeah, I mean... Sometimes I feel like it's an all-or-nothing thing. Either you use the abilities a lot, or you don't use them at all. Yeah. Um, because it's it's sort of a... An, like... I, I guess this is kind of going back to something you said earlier in a previous episode, but, like, because attack power is so... Or damage is so useful... Yeah. That when you decide to go, you know, all out mm -hmm. offensive, then it's better to kind of stick to your guns and just like kill yes. people as fast as possible. I concur. It is always better to kill people faster rather than uh, slower. And as a result, there's no reason not to do anything aside from damage. Now, that being said, this party is actually emblematic of a few of those abilities that are worth using that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, Oddleaf's ability, super worth using. Stopping a guy in her tracks, that's awesome. This map, not as useful, um, but still a useful ability. Um, Mostly due to starting positions. I will use a horn on this guy because I do want to use their ability because I feel like their ability is also useful. Um, when you've got a guy who's got a ton of health and a ton of armor, um, you can use their ability and deal maybe three times as much damage to him as you would have if you hadn't done that. Yeah, it's it's a very good, like... And now I've got him in a position where I can just kill him. I think their ability is a good mid-level ability because yes. it never really stops being useful, no. it, but it never is really great. It's rarely, like, way better than just dealing damage, and at the same time, it's also never way worse than mm -hmm. not doing damage. Exactly. Unlike a lot of abilities, like, a lot of the Varl have abilities that are like do a thing to a guy's armor that isn't just break all of it. And you're like, well, why would I ever use that? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, Eagle is not very good because I haven't really been using, using his ability. him. Well, he is, Eagle is good for aggro. So if he... Eagle is good for aggro. I don't know, it's just a funny way of phrasing it. <laughs> he's a defensive character. I wouldn't say that he's very good for aggro. Well, if if you use him to aggro a bunch of enemies, yeah. then you use his stonewall ability, yeah. and basically you prevent all of your other characters from taking damage, yeah. which means you can preserve their health, dealing more damage to everyone else. That's fair, but I think it's a bit of a reduction. He's a defensive character meant for a defensive strategy. You throw him forward as a as a distraction. Mm -hmm. uh, you you like pitch him in at like like throwing a rock at a guy before a fight properly starts. He's got to deal with the rock before he gets to you, and generally they deal with it by taking it right on the face. <laughs> uh, if we're not murdered in our sleep, it's only a matter of time before the dredge find their way in. There's nobody defending these walls. Uh, yes, that guy is still alive. Oh, Onif, Onif, you're not. Um, no. No. Wait, is Onif? Onif is this guy. Yeah, but does he join our party? Yeah, he has joined the party. He has? Yeah, Have he, he auto-joins the party. No, 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 no. He's oh, got that okay. thing where he joins the party in the story, and then at the end when you leave town, you get the choice to take him with you or not, and you've never ever taken him with you because he always fucked you over. Uh, I've, yeah, this, this. It's time to, we're just going to get out of here. He's part of that the whole thing of yes. never trust someone wearing a, a helmet. Never trust a man in a helmet. A uh, shut that guy up. <laughs> uh... No deal. Shut him up and let's get out of here. Yeah, Ivor punches him in the face. I got him. Fuck that guy. <laughs> he crumbles. Seriously, he's the worst. I don't know if I've ever actually had him in my party, so I don't know what he does. Yeah, I did the first time. Learned that lesson what, real how quick. Does, how does he screw you over? Uh, he and his fighters steal half of your supplies and run away, and they attract a few other people to steal your supplies in the meantime, and then, like, when you go to fight them, they kill, like, a whole bunch of your fighters. It's, like, it's really... It's just bad on every level. Um, I could buy some stuff. I have 47 Renown right now, so actually, I'm gonna wow. level up my heroes. Some um, of those... Some we of left those... this party with, like, a ton of experience. Yeah, some of those um, pieces of equipment are actually not too bad, either. Yeah, but none of them are worth getting. It's better to get supplies and keep people alive. It, it actually depends. Really? Yeah. I've never actually I've, bought any of them. Oftentimes, I just let people die when I run out of food, because it doesn't do any... It, <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't have any mechanical effect on the game. <laughs> it doesn't change much. No, I'm not even kidding. I know you're rather, right. I would rather buy good Ow. equipment than buy food to keep That's people That's actually alive. terrible. I'm going to go ahead and promote a couple of people, though. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, right, I so think that's good. This guy, uh, this, this this level might be a lot of leveling up. <laughs> that's that's okay, but yeah, I, I think that's that's an interesting 
flaw. I think there should be more weight on keeping your clansmen yeah. alive. Yeah. Um, and I, there's got to be some sort of mechanical difference, right? Like, as far as tactical things go, I think it does change a little bit, but I don't think a it changes little. enough. No. Um, and I've even gotten to the point where I've had no food for, you know, many days, and most of my clansmen many are days. dead. <laughs> and I'm just like, whatever, I'm still fighting Dredge. Like, there's no tomorrow. So Everything's fine. Everything's fine. My guys are beefy as hell. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to give her a few more things to do. Okay. Um, I think that's everybody who can level up, which means I still have 12 renown left, which means I'm going to buy 40 some days worth of food. Or maybe I can buy one of these things. What's the... Well, now we can only afford the locket. Yeah, but you can... S oh, yeah. The Bale's locket. Silver locket reveals... Plus two willpower. Knockback on strength attacks of five. Minus two drawing aggro. Yeah. None, none of those are really good. worth it. No. So I'm going to buy supplies instead. I wouldn't buy... Are you, you're just going to spend all 12? I could. It's five days worth. As opposed to... F well, I could spend six and get four days worth. I'd at least save five renown, so that if we have any level one guys that can be ranked up, we can do that. That's fair. Okay, I'll buy four days worth of supplies then. Cool. So, that's the end of this episode. Uh, right. Question of the day. What would you guys do to kind of make the supplies and your having keeping your clansmen alive kind of have more weight? Ah. Or, or do you even, you know, agree with me, right? Well, see, I the, the troublesome thing is that it, it's not as easy as just, like... Sorry. <laughs> it's not as easy as just at the end of the game assigning you a score based on how well you did or did not do, because those of you who have played this game know that the game doesn't like, do have an ending. Mm -hmm. It just ends. Y yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh... uh it, that, it's even yeah. possible that it has some sort of value in the second game, but I feel like that yeah, doesn't I, justify I don't it. think there's going to be, like, New Game Plus content in the second game. I think you're just going to... I don't know, because I said that about The Wolf Among Us, and I was totally wrong. <laughs> but that was years ago. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, coming I from, from the group of developers that worked at Bioware for a while, I feel like they'll probably have some sort of system that yeah. uh, transfers data through, but who knows? Yeah, what would they call it, though? Like, memory? Like, what would a computer use to remember something? <laughs> anyway, thank you, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs>